Right. Um, tonight, uh, uh, we talk about some um, cosmology. Um, in previous several videos, sort of, we only discussed sort of, sort of high energy physics, especially the particle physics and the quantum field theories with this, the standard model, the and beyond standard model. Um, in today's videos, uh, I will start about some of the cosmology, so, which is some which are, sort of general activities and the, some astronomical sort of observation. So, Tonight, I will focus on the cosmological expansions and the contents coming from the um, space and the uh, uh, universe space times and the matters. Um, that is some of the Korean written books for the um, physics textbook. And today, I will discuss about cosmological expansion and uh, um, the matrix about the uh, universe as given like that. Uh, there will be the, some of the scale factors A, which is function of the time, will be multiplied during the influence through the displacement uh, path. And uh, uh, we will use some of the spherical 3D coordinates as a co moving coordinates. So, such a coordinate will be the moving together with the spice. So, it is called a co moving coordinate. Uh, there are some uh, several phenomena uh, sort of these uh, universe expansions. Uh, the first one series is the um, uh, large shift by the space times expansions that is not large shift by the Doppler shift fact. Uh, the momentum uh, is uh, proportional to the inverse of the wavelength by the de Broglie's wavelengths, and uh, such wavelengths as a proportional to the scale factor. So. Uh, expansion makes the scale of factors increase, so wavelengths are increased, so large differences occur. So let's add the uh, wavelengths as the current uh, dice is lambda zero, so and the, at the time t is uh, lambda t, then the, by the proportionality between the wavelengths and the scale factor, then it is reduced to, to the a zero, so the i t, and the, we define the large step to parameters one plus chart. Uh, just is called the last of the parameter because the lambda juice will be the uh, more increased quantities compared to with the wavelengths at the t. So such as the uh, last of the parameter chart is the uh, frequently used in the cosmology to, ex to express uh, some specific time instead of the such as parameter time, parameter time t. And there are the additional phenomena by the cosmological expansions. Uh, let's start think that the XP, uh, which is physical distance, the realistic distance does an increase at the time. Uh, but we will set the XT, which is the k-moving distance, and it is a fixed uh, in the time that is k-moving with the uh, spherical coordinate. So physical distance can be expressed as in terms of scale factors and the time independent k-moving distance. And I'll discuss about some of these um, uh, these large general values in the Hubble six functions law. Um, from this um, matrix, the DS is here. Uh, if the DS is uh, equal to the zero, so it means that the no like, which is uh, parts of the light. So if we start in the C equal to the ones, then the uh, just the horizon for the such a blood space times is uh, ct and this is equal to the one. So who is in for the uh, just the light cones of the blood space time, which is special relative theory. Uh, such a reason is uh, increased as uh, just a ct, which is just a light cone. It is just uh, here and now and there. Uh, such a horizons are increased as the CT in the time. The other thing with the uh, new expansion case, there is some light cone and the body causality, uh, which is some time-like subactives uh, coming from the here and now points, and the such is uh, some spatial components is the last and the CT, which is the uh, events horizons of the light cone. Um, but if we discuss it in the expansions, there will be a scale factor that will be multiplied in this partial part. So a matrix, such so as the DSQs, space time intervals equal to the juice is also 
no like the border post of the light and we thought the c equal to the one and if we integrate the outro of the these equations then the time part there will be the dt with the it so uh, there will be some additional factors that it is made denominators that we be if we integrate the uh, outro of the such as partial past. So if we integrate the uh, from the zeros to the t, so we set the parameters t prime, then the, we can find it with the key moving horizon after t. So the point is in, in the expansions matrix with the scale factors like t, there will be the, some different behaviors sort of the key moving horizons uh, in the causality uh, point of view. So, just a moment, so we will go to the sum of the page down and the um, such a key moving is not a test, uh, is this some um, key moving distance. But if we multiply sort of the ITs, the Kelvin horizon, there will be some of the realistic physical distance, but the uh, horizons in the universe expansions can be obtained. So, for example, so the last thing that the same scale factor is a function of times so as some t alpha. And if the alpha is uh, uh, greater than zero than less than the one, then the expansion is less than the light because we set the uh, light speed equal to the one. So uh, if we obtain these uh, such other this can moving horizon from the previous formula, that was just integrations of the time. So that was some of the widgets, and we can obtain the uh, uh, horizons in the physical distance point of view. Then the, uh, that was a given like that. And the one, one of the one minus half of terms will be P is from the integrations and formula. And the, uh, because the one minus one of the one minus alpha is greater than one, such so as this factor, and it's equal to the one. So there will be the more can moving horizon for the more times compared with the blast by time. But the case of the expansion is the faster than the light, which is the uh, alpha is greater than one, then there will be the horizon is reducing because uh, this factor is a negative. So there will be the different behaviors sort of the uh, horizon uh, with your single horizon increasing for time uh, depends on the uh, such as factors of the R past, but the scale factor. And there is a bonus phenomenon as to the cosmological expansion, which is some um, uh, luminosity. So luminosity uh, is defined as the energy for time, so, uh, like as a blocks. And uh, there will be some of the reducing sort of the such uh, luminosities uh, by the distance because of the spherical area. So uh, it can be defined as some blocks is the uh, luminosity with uh, some areas sort of the sphere. So energy plus times plus area is defined as the blocks. Uh, but if there are some of the expansions, such as these case terms will be in containing of some scale factor, there are some of the current values that I used and the uh, scale factor is time t, and there are the scale terms from the disk here uh, as a denominator. And uh, we can find that the luminosity distance. This is just the real answer of the previous formulas, uh, dl, uh, in terms of the luminosity and the blocks. And the realistic physical distance D contains those additional scale factor. So there was a relation between the luminosity distance and the physical distance with the additional factors to its scale factor C. And now I will uh, draw sort of the Hubble's parameter, Hubble's law. Uh, so Hubble parameters are uh, defined as a A's dust over the I. So it means that this um, um, expansion, if the Hubble parameter is uh, positive, then the uh, A does is positive, so there will be the cosmological expansion. So, but if it is negative, then the universe is uh, just uh, reducing, it's just the contractions. And the Hubble parameters are a function of the times, and they, maybe the next times in the videos, 
uh, I will discuss about the Brown Timmons three equations, which is we just dropped the general relativity theories with the Einstein field equations, and then maybe such a Brodman equations can be expressed as intense repeatable parameter. And uh, in his, uh, we will question of some uh, Hubble's law, uh, derivation of Hubble's laws from the cumulative incident and the physical distance. That was the large chance of the moving distance and the physical distance. Uh, with the scale factor. And if we take uh, if we derive the shifts in any time, then there will be the XP dust, a dust and an XC, because uh, so the key moving distance it has a near time dependence. So if we insert sort of the XC, then there will be the XP of the items that will be and the we run the answer like that, then uh, we are allowed it is the defines the behavior parameters as a dust of the ice. So, uh, that was just the proof through the Hubble's laws. Uh, some um, time derivatives through the physical distance, which means the velocity, and uh, it can be reduced in the last steps. And the, there are some distance from the Earth to the uh, specific uh, astronomical slopes. Now. So I think that's the next episode starts uh, about some of the cosmos first videos, and then maybe the next video uh, about some of the cosmos past. past. Are we, uh, are we say that some uh, upper art table matrix, uh, as the maximalist matrix, uh, spice times, and the from the Einstein field equation, or derive sort of the broad equation, and there's a discussion about the lambda CDM model, which is standard models for the cosmos thing.